Bitcoin mining specifically, you're working against the clock. Everyone else around the world is trying to deploy these machines as fast as possible to earn as much Bitcoin as you can before the next halving. They call it the epoch of where the Bitcoin mining reward gets cut in half. And it's very competitive, but you also don't want to go too fast and trip over yourself and mess up and have a transformer blow up or something. My name is Owen Davis. Um, I'm the, like I said, I'm the energy and infrastructure manager for Just for Crypto. So I kind of handle the energy side and infrastructure development for Just for Crypto, our company, and our 25 megawatts here in Brainerd, Minnesota. I've been doing this for about two and a half years with Just for Crypto. So started my sophomore year of college. I was going to school in, up in Duluth, Minnesota. Um, in person and then took a tour with Steve Clow, our founder and CEO, and wanted to dive headfirst into Bitcoin and see what it had to offer and asked for an internship there when I took a tour with them of their 100 miners at the time or 200 miners. And now we're up to 7,500 miners and 25 megawatts of power. We use as much power as the entire city that we're in. So it's pretty cool to see our growth over these two years. Yeah, so we had multiple groups help us start, obviously because we were coming from doing t-shirts and apparel and dance company to Bitcoin mining. We had no idea what we were getting into. I once heard the Riot CEO, that's a big mining company in the US, public miner. I once heard him say that he liked Bitcoin miners because they never complain and they're employees that never complain and just earn him money. And then my first thought was he's clearly never actually been a true Bitcoin miner because miners complain a lot and you gotta repair them a lot or give them attention a lot. There's kind of endless challenges when you don't know what you're doing right away. But so I would say our first challenge was realizing that there needs to be proper airflow and ventilation for these machines. When we first started, we didn't understand that at all. So we had about 13 ASIC miners running above our t-shirt apparel business in a room with no ventilation. And it got up to about 130 degrees within an hour in there. So. Then we kind of transition to using immersion equipment and that comes with a lot of its own challenges as well. It's immersion, dielectric fluid, it's messy, it's oily, uh, hoses will kink and break. There's a lot of failure points like pumps, heat exchangers, uh, dry coolers, losing fans, all sorts of things. Another big challenge is, is procuring used equipment and not it's cost effective at the time, but also can bite you in the butt at the end of the day when you have to touch those miners 10 times because they're always failing. There's a lot of different issues. I'd say it's never ending and you're always learning and evolving in Bitcoin mining space. I think it was just taking advice when it was needed from these people who knew what they were doing and have been doing it for a long time. What gets you out of bed in the morning to come do this? I think for me, it's because I love Bitcoin and I think it's gonna be pivotal in changing the world as we see it today and take power back to the people rather than having it centralized in governments and banking. We're moving that forward and helping that decentralize even further to making it more secure and more decentralized to making it even better money than it already has been in the past. We kind of, in America, in the US, we're very fortunate that our currency doesn't devalue 100% overnight, just like, like the Argentinian peso. The government can just print an inf infinite amount of it and the citizens will suffer while they spend all they want or do whatever they want as the central government. But Bitcoin is kind of a safe haven from that, of you put your money into it, there's only going to ever be this amount and no more can be printed. And so as Bitcoin miners, we move that system forward to help people like that. 
And there's a lot of other things that Bitcoin mining helps in a sense because it's a power system that you can put anywhere in the world if you can get a Starlink internet connection to it. I urge people to try to learn about it and not actually listen to the naysayers talking about Sam Bankman Freed and FTX and all these fraudsters that, that gave Bitcoin a bad rap. It's actually a very good thing for humanity and I urge people to try to get to know that a little more.